Many Minnesota farmers are getting ready for planting season. And Medina, there's a farmer who's also looking to grow crops inside. John Lorson shows us how Route 1 is hoping to deliver a piece of the farm to people in need. I'm a fourth generation farm kid. Uh, we had 180 acres in Northeast Arkansas. Since a young age, farming has been a passion for Marcus Carpenter. Like others, he's hoping Mother Nature cooperates this spring. But good weather isn't a necessity for part of his operation. The awesome thing about the freight farm is you can grow over 500 different varieties of, of foods. Last month, Marcus received a shipping container from Boston. A company there called Freight Farm saves them from junkyards and then adds technology, electricity, and water so crops can grow inside. This freight farm is 8 feet by 40 feet, and inside the crops they grow will be the equivalent of four acres of farmland. Marcus is the founder of Route 1, an organization focused on bringing the farm to the people, especially in underserved communities. That means growing a variety of foods. And so the awesome part about our vision is that we're trying to really take these culturally relevant foods and really drop them right down in the, in the middle of communities that need them. Helping him will be emerging black, brown, and indigenous farmers. The inspiration and the name comes from his great grandmother, who bought an Arkansas farm in 1914. They had 13 kids, and they all lived on one old country road, and it was called Route 1. Now, Route 1 is taking a different path, one Marcus hopes helps those. Who need it most. Being able to just introduce folks who may not have access to agriculture to a new way of farming. In Medina, John Lordson, WCCO News. Marcus says Route 1 has the first black owned freight farm in Minnesota. At the Medina location, he also hopes to teach young people about where their food comes from and how to grow it both inside and outside.